You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We're taking your phone calls, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. Questions or comments for myself or our guest, Hagman and Hagman, investigative reporters and criminal investigators, private investigators. Um, going back to Doug uh, and, and, and Joe. Joe, you've got some comments uh, on uh, the, the radical groups they're allowing into the country. I mean, Obama has been openly allowing radical Islamists and the funding out of Kenya uh, into Egypt. And, 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 and they're moving to indict a bunch of Americans over in uh, Egypt right now. I mean, this is just crazy how criminal our elites are. What's your take on that? No, you're absolutely right. They are criminal to the to the worst extent possible, and I believe that um, ISIS, much like Al Qaeda, you know, they're priming the pump, conditioning the American public to uh, understand that there there is some kind of uh, attack coming, whether it is on the uh, field of the world or it's a, a cyber attack. Um, they are getting ready to do something, and I believe that much like we saw in 9/11, that the government knows a lot of what's going on in, in the Middle East and knows a lot of the threats with the ability from the NSA to, to monitor everyone's conversations in, in real time. Um, I don't see how they could have a threat, a, a true threat go through undetected. So I believe that a lot of this is, is the staging, the uh, getting ready for, uh, and possibly if they needed to, the carrying out of a terrorist attack. I agree. Well, there's obvious motive by the establishment to allow attacks to happen or to actually carry them out or stage them to get more power. It's a simple equation, but it just doesn't work anymore. Chris in FEMA Region 10, I guess you're up in uh, the Pacific Northwest somewhere, Chris? Yes, sir. Hey, Alex Jones and uh, uh, Doug uh, Hagman, I really, really, and Joe, I really, really appreciate your service to the country, and I keep you guys in my prayer, so God bless you. God bless you. Um, Thank you. What I wanted to ask is I want to talk about the misdirection um, that I that I see. I mean, we're always looking for who's responsible. Uh, we hear a lot about the British elite, the uh, Dutch elite, uh, the Rothschilds, uh, Soros and all these guys. But where do all roads lead? It seems like all roads lead to Rome. The smallest country in the world is also the richest. The Vatican holds a quarter of the world's gold. They are at the top of the pyramid. They're controlling all these people. I just want to get your take on that. You want my take or Doug's take or Joe's take? I would love all three of your take on it. Okay, uh, Doug, you take it first. Well, I, you know, I, I think all roads do lead to Rome as well as, well, they've got uh, um, offshoots or interchanges in the city of London as well as Washington, D.C. Uh, you know, I, look, I, I think at the bottom, at the end of the day, what they're trying to do here is create a one-world system of governance. Alex, you talk about this. You've got the one-world economy, one-world global governance. I was about to say, it's the same management technique yeah. in the city of London or in Israel or in the Vatican or in D.C. Uh, I mean, you know, that's its own district. I mean, everybody always wants to zero in on Jews or Catholics or Masons or when really at the top, you've got corrupt people that have taken over every major organization. And I've just found it's counterproductive to sit there and say, it's the cops' fault or it's the blacks' fault or it's the whites' fault or it's the Mexicans' fault or it's the Vatican's fault. I mean, I mean, I mean, taking Catholicism, I'm not Catholic, but I've looked at it being a newsman. There's a hundred different groups in there. They're all fighting with each other. Uh, and I mean, obviously, it's true. The Vatican helped set up the EU because it wants to run Europe. So, yeah, it, it, it is a big part of it. Uh, and I don't defend that. At the same time, though, there are a lot of Catholics out fighting the New World Order and fighting abortion who are good people. You know, I mean, I mean, it just uh, I'm going to hold you over because I want to continue this whole Vatican discussion. It's fascinating. I should do a whole show like like on Jews or on Vatican or on Masons or on and then just kind of look at how. 
there's different groups in all these groups and how it's a globalist philosophy, a philosophy of tyranny versus a philosophy of liberty. And I'm just here promoting the philosophy of liberty, and I think we can get everybody involved in it. Back to the calls. We're talking about the Vatican thing the caller just brought up. I'm going to go back to him, Chris, and then take it, take, it, uh, take it to the bottom of the hour. Start getting in a hurry and start stumbling over my words. But how do you counter the ignorance of the public and, and ignorance in government as well versus those of us that are awake? I mean, we're not on some high horse saying we're real smart, but I can have discussions with billionaires, corporate people, you name it. They're so amazed that I know about fractional reserve banking or I know about basic stuff. I mean, just in business, that can make you so much more successful. How did they ever convince the public that it's dumb to be informed about how the world really works? And how do you reach out to people that are so stupid and so full of hate, they think smashing up a Christmas tree or shooting innocent cops in the head uh, is a moral activity? Well, you, uh, you said something there, you know, that not only are they not informed, but they're full of hate. And we see that, you know, through the TV and the uh, propaganda uh, on the airwaves, whether it's through visual or, or audio stimulus, that they've been able to play on emotional uh, strings of the people. And we see this a lot, too. You encounter people where you have the proof and, and the facts and you can show them to somebody and they will hate you for being the messenger or hate you for telling them the truth, not willing to look at the truth. It's it's a process that is in trying to bridge that gap of, of helping people understand the information, not just showing it to them or, or giving it to them is it, it's a hard, it's hard to do these days. You know, people are set in what they believe. And I think until the public has their own personal experience that opens their, their, their eyes or, or leads them to search for a, an answer, uh, they're not going to be open to it because they're, they've been so we've been conditioned. Yeah. You know, conditioned. It's, condition. shed. it's conditioning. It's probably, it's programming. It really, it, at the basis of, at the, at the root of the level, I mean, it's it's all mind control. It, it really is. Well, I mean, if a cop killed somebody in my family in cold blood and got away with it, I would do things legally and other ways of that, you know, whatever it took to get justice. But it would be against the person that did it, not against some random person in another jurisdiction. It, it, it gets down to mindless tribalism, Coke, Pepsi, Ford, Chevy, that it's just us against them. It's totally sick. I want to go back to Chris. If, if some people just joined us, Chris called in and said, hey, all roads lead to Rome. And it, you know, doesn't the Vatican run the whole planet? From my deep research, the Vatican is up to its eyeballs. Uh, in the New World Order, in setting up the Euro, uh, the founding Treaty of Rome is what it's called, and what, in 1957 that really first established the EU. Uh, the Catholic Church bishops in the Southwest are pushing for open borders and, and telling illegals to come in. So I think it's seditious, but then uh, other Catholic bishops in Europe are trying to close the borders. I think it's diversified, and I'm not giving the Vatican a pass, but I'm not here Catholic bashing. My point when he said, you know, do you think the Catholic Church runs it all is all people do is fight over who runs everything. Is it the, is it the um, Illuminati or is it the Masons or is it the Jews or is it the Rockefellers or is it uh, the Catholic Church? And then there's all this endless fighting. Hey, the Federal Reserve's private. It's screwing us over. Let's get rid of it. Hey, uh, I just don't get caught up. It's more divide and conquer, I found, to get into bashing one group or another. Isn't it just corruption at the top? That's my take. Chris, what is your take? I think there is a lot of diversity, and I do see a, a, a division in the Catholic Church, and I think a lot of uh, higher uh, ranking priests and bishops and cardinals are waking up to the truth. And I got to thank you for leading me back to the truth. You led me back to Christ, and praise God for that. And, you know, when you look in Revelation, the great whore, the great harlot who rides atop the beast is the Catholic Church, is the Vatican. They are at the top of the pyramid right underneath Lucifer. Well, There's sure, I think, it's, I think it's state-run Christian fake. I mean, here's the issue. When I'm, everything the Catholic Church is doing, the Protestant churches are doing as well. They're pushing for open borders. They're saying turn your guns in. They're saying do what the government says. That's all I'm saying is when we sit there and just single out one church or one organization, I think it plays into the larger divide and conquer. Go ahead. Also, the uh, new Illuminati official website, people have done some research and tracked it back to the Vatican Church. It was created by 